Good day, good day, good day. This is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Wanted to welcome you to another episode of I Care. Just a short word, just a short word to encourage you to understand and know that God is with you, that God loves you, that he will never forsake you. He promises that. He promises that he will never leave you. Remember this. you full of his spirit, then you have his presence with you always. God has promised, and he will do exactly what he said he's going to do. Think about this. It's in him that you live. It's in him that you move. It's in him that you have your being. The Christ, the spirit of Christ is in you right now to give you the help that you need for any situation and any circumstance. One of the keys to living, living for God, one of the keys is that you obey God, that you be in line with the will of God. Amen. And so in the book of, <clears throat> of 1 Timothy, it says this, all scripture is given by God and is useful for teaching, for showing people what is wrong in their lives for correcting faults, and for teaching, excuse me, how to live right. Using the scriptures, that person, the person who who serves God will be capable having all that is needed for every good work. Wow, that's awesome. I love the word of God because it always encourages you. It always encourages you to stand up. It encourages what you can have, what you can be, and what you can do. Hallelujah. And so your key is is being in the will of God. The key is obeying what God has said. The the scriptures tell us right here that all scripture is of God. All of it. There's not one part of it that's not from God. And so it's for inspiration. So the scripture does what? The scripture inspires you. So as you read the word of God, that's why it's important for you to meditate the word. It's important for you to sit down and just read the word. It's important that you pray because the scriptures, the word of God, will inspire you. The word of God will pick you up. Even in times where it seemed like it's difficulty, the, the, the scriptures is for teaching. Hallelujah. So the scriptures, the, why don't you watch this, what it says, like this. Listen to this. <clears throat> it is to show you what is wrong in your life. What? The scripture will show you, the scripture will correct what is wrong in your life. Hallelujah. Are you having trouble making ends meet, as they say? Are you having trouble just being able to have peace in your life? The word of God will show you what's wrong. The word of God will correct it. If you yield yourself to him and recognize that the scripture is not just to be read and thought about, but the scripture is to be obeyed. As we obey the scripture, change comes to our lives. Let me tell you something. It's no better fun, no greater fun than being a child of God, obeying his word, because he rewards you when you obey his word. Hallelujah. You know, uh, many times you look at people that are being successful and happy and so forth, and you wonder what many of them are doing as a saint. What you're doing is you're rejoicing in God, obeying and doing what God tells you to do. And so that's important for all of us to recognize the scriptures. It's for our good. I care.